We're just 60 days out until the general election and volunteers working around the clock to get the word out about their candidates. Our Maria Cage shares how Republicans and Democrats are attempting to reach voters in all parts of the state. More than a third of Nebraska's population lives in rural areas, according to research from UNMC. And the so-called urban-rural divide extends to politics. Pew Research Center data shows a majority of urban voters lean Democrat, while a majority of rural voters swing Republican. While a lot of efforts are focused on the 2nd Congressional District's blue dot, the rest of the state isn't being ignored. We hired a full-time rural organizer that's really focusing in on Michelle Smith and Dan Quick's races. That's the legislative races in Hastings and Grand Island, as well as making sure that our county parties have all the resources they need to reach voters at the door. Kleb says more than 70 of Nebraska's 93 counties have a Democratic Party infrastructure, a growing number in recent years to reach every corner of the state. Too often in our state in particular, people think that the rural and urban divide is so big that there is nothing that bridges either of those communities. Whether it's our block captain program, we have a newspaper that we call Dems Deliver that we hand out at the door and at rodeos and county fairs. We're always trying to show rural voters that we care about them. Many counties are also seeing more local GOP offices opening up. John Schnell says this is the first presidential election year that Saunders County will have local Republican representation. We are using uh, the uh, Numenar app, which is a canvassing app. We are getting people signed up and people to go around and be, the people be going out doing door knocking. Schnell says these tools are helping them lower barriers for potential voters and volunteers in the county. They are also holding events specifically targeting rural voters. We're doing a uh, Second Amendment trap shoot uh, and kind of celebrating the Second Amendment. Those are things so we're trying to, we find those things that rural voters do identify with and they're responding very well. So uh, their concerns are our concerns and their, their desires are the same desires of the GOP. On your side in Omaha, Maria Cade, 6 News. Both state parties have resources on their websites for voters who are interested. We have those linked for you on our website, www.wt.com.